Hello to all laser engraving hobbyists. Welcome to Louie's Little Laser Lab. This is my very first video to post on YouTube. Please know that I am not a professional at making videos or video editing. Since I will be covering build, assembly, and measurements, I will be reading from a script so that keeps this video as short as possible and to the point. So bear with me as I read from this script. It will also prevent my thoughts from jumping all over the place, which would potentially make this video confusing for you. In this video, I'm going to cover how I built my laser lift bed for my X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt laser station. I created this video due to several comments asking for details on the posts I made in the official X-Tool Facebook groups. I am not getting paid or sponsored by anyone for this video. I am not trying to make any money on how I constructed my workstation to accommodate an electric lift that I purchased from Amazon. I simply want to share my build with other users so that it helps make their experience with lasering easier and more enjoyable. I use my electric lift to raise and lower my laser bed. This allows me to quickly make space for my rotary tool or engrave items as tall as 12 inches without having to add the X-Tool leg extension. Okay, so let's get started. In this video, I will briefly cover my overall workstation area, go over my workstation dimensions, cover specifics on my laser bed dimensions, cover specifics on my construction to accommodate the electric scissor lift, show a video demonstration of my electric lift laser bed, and finally show a very short video of me to conclude my video. I want to quickly go over my laser workstation area. I made space in the corner of my garage. The way I have it set up is enough room for me to move around and efficiently produce products for my friends, family, and soon to make it a side hustle to make some money. Please note that my build may not work for everyone. I built this to work for me based on limited space I have, my height because I'm short, and workflow. This is what my laser workstation looks like today. I have plenty of workspace for the size of items I will be working with. Okay, enough of my setup. Let's move on to my workstation dimensions. The wood material I use for my table and box I built for the electric lift is 3 quarter inch pre-sanded birch plywood I bought from our local low store. It comes in 4 foot by 8 foot sheet. Our local low store cut the board for me. My workstation table is 28 inches deep by 84 inches wide. The height of my table from the floor to the top of my table is 29 inches. I cut a 20 and quarter inch by 20 and quarter inch opening to accommodate my honeycomb bed. I have the X-Tool honeycomb bed. The dimensions of the honeycomb bed are 19 and 5 8 inch by 19 and 5 8 inch. Again, the hole I cut out is 20 and a quarter inch by 20 and a quarter inch. This allows for a 5 16 inch gap on all four sides for my X-Tool honeycomb bed. I used a four piece laser feet guide that, feet, that fits the X-Tool D1 Pro. I purchased these from Amazon. The feet guide keeps my X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt laser machine stable. When I remove my machine to do a thorough clean and then put it back into the feet, this sets my machine exactly where it was before. No matter how many times I remove the machine and replace it, the machine is consistently back to the original position. Consistency is the key to accuracy and that leads to excellent quality of work and saves a lot of time. I put the machine in the feet guides and positioned the opening of the machine centered over the cut opening. On my build, the edge of the machine to the edge of the cut opening is 3 quarter inch on all four sides. Please note, I could not show the fourth side due to the angle of the photo. Before I go over the details on how I built the box for the electric lift, I want to cover the dimensions of the electric lift that I bought from Amazon. The lift bed description from Amazon is the ECLB 17 inch electric manual control button dining table coffee table lift black 
110 to 240 volt working platform computer desk electronic scissor lift. <gasps> now that is one long product description. Oh my gosh. Anyway, completely lowered, the unit is three and a quarter inches tall. Fully extended, the unit is 12 and 5 eighths inches tall. The dimension of the unit is 12 and 5 eighths inches by 16 and a half inches. These measurements coupled with the measurements of the X2 honeycomb bed is what I used to formulate the construction of the electric lift system I wanted for my laser station. Now I'll go over building the box for the electric lift bed. You will cut a total of five boards. Bottom board, left and right side boards, front and back side boards. The bottom board dimension is 20 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches. The dimension of the left and right side boards are 20 and a half inches by 14 inches. The dimensions of the front and back side boards are 22 inches by 14 inches. The screws I use to assemble the boards together are number six, two and a quarter inch black phosphate trim screws with a number one square drive. I bought the screws from Menards. I know the screws may seem a bit long, but I wanted to make sure the assembly is rock solid since I did not use any wood glue. Please note that I always drill a pilot hole for every screw I used. I don't have a picture or video of how I mounted the box to my workstation table, so I will do my best to describe to you the easiest way I mounted the box to my workstation table. After I assembled the box, I put the box on my Harbor Freight Daytona floor jack. I raised the box until it almost touched the bottom of my workstation table, about approximately a, uh, half, an eighth of an inch gap. This allowed me to maneuver the box center of the 20 and a quarter inch by 20 and a quarter inch opening. Once I had it centered, I jacked it up, I jacked up the box until it was firmly against the bottom of my workstation table. When I screwed the box in place from the top side of my work, workstation table, the box never shifted. Next I will describe how I attached the X-Tool honeycomb bed to the electric lift and how I installed this and secured the electric lift inside the box. I mounted a 19 and 5 8 inches by 19 and 5 inch board to, to the lift. The board is 3 quarter inch thick birch plywood. It is exactly the same dimension as the honeycomb bed. There are four holes to screw the board in place as shown with the yellow circles. Then I mounted the honeycomb bed on top of the plywood. I installed the electric lift bed inside the box and fully extended it until the honeycomb bed passed through the opening, passed through the opening and stopped at its highest setting. Now make sure the honeycomb bed is centered of the opening. You should have a 5 6 5 16 inch gap clearance on all four sides. I used several pieces of 5 16 inch wood and wedged them in all the gaps on all four sides. This ensured that all four sides maintained a 5 16 inch gap. Place, the le place a level on the honeycomb bed to make sure it is level on both the X axis and the Y axis. If your honeycomb bed is not level, then use shims under the electric lift frame until the honeycomb bed is level on both the X axis and the Y axis. Once you have it level, make sure you still have the 5 16 inch gap on all four sides of the honeycomb bed. Double, triple check everything before you screw down the electric lift. There are four holes to screw down the frame as shown with the yellow circles. I installed the up-down control buttons right beside my enclosure near the power switch of the laser station. You can install it wherever you prefer. I ran the wiring for the control buttons up against the top edge and passed it through the back side of the box. I ran the power cord through the 5 16 inch gap and laid it under my enclosure to a power strip. Once you have everything in place, test the operation of the electric lift. Keep 
Keep the level on the honeycomb bed and pay attention to the level. Make sure it stays level on both x-axis and y-axis as you move the bed up and down. You may need to make minor adjustments by shifting the electric frame, electric lift frame or adding and removing shims to ensure number one that your honeycomb bed is level on both x-axis and y-axis and number two the 5 16th inch clearance gap is on all four sides of your honeycomb bed. For the front cover I used a quarter inch birch plywood I purchased from our local Lowe's store. I used a thinner wood so it is easier to remove and replace the front cover when I perform maintenance or cleaning the, cleaning the electric lift or cleaning out the box. I used number 6 1 and 5 8 inch black phosphate trim screws with number 1 square drive to screw the front cover. I then stained the box to match the workstation table. This is what it looks like today. If you find this video helpful, please like or subscribe to my channel. I will do my very best to answer any questions that you post. Thank you for watching my video. Hello YouTubers and laser engraving hobbyists. Um, I'm smiling because I don't know how many times I've restarted and started this video so uh, I'm just gonna go with it whatever comes comes so anyway uh, my name's Louie and I've been in lasering since July before I got into it, I did a lot of reviews on different types of laser workstations and uh, I concluded with the Xtool D1 Pro I read a lot of reviews on that and so I decided to buy the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt laser station um, before I bought it, I did watch a lot of videos on how people design their studios or design their workstation and the type of accessories being used with the laser workstation. So uh, I came up with an electric laser bed lift that's attached to my workstation. Um, it works really well for me. Uh, I can raise and lower the bed and engrave items to up to 12 inches. I can easily put my rotary tool in there quickly and then go back go from rotary tool to um, flat pieces um, and then if I want to engrave tall items such as like wooden boxes or uh, jewelry boxes and so forth I can do that so uh, it, it takes the hassle of um, putting in the X tool leg extensions and then having to take them off so you can laser flat items again. So um, I did join the Xtool uh, D1 Pro Facebook group and I also joined the Xtool Facebook official group um, Xtool official group uh, and I made a post on um, showing my video actually a very short clip of my video of the la my laser workstation the electric lift bed going up and down and I had a lot of people ask um, to provide details on how I built it now when I built it back in July I didn't build any kind of plan I didn't write things down um, I'm a I'm a I'm a hardcore DIYer so I like to do a lot of things I like to build things I like to create things and uh, as I build them, I don't build them for other people to use. I build it for me to use. So when I built my station and the electric lift station, my workstation and the electric lift bed, you know, I just wrote down measurements. I cut it. I put it together. Uh, as I put it together, I uh, didn't think about, you know, making up a plan. I just build it on the fly and build it the way I had it in my head. And then when I was done, um, I pretty much I threw everything away. And I think a lot of you uh, do that when you build things for yourself. You don't plan on building something that works for you and then think, oh, I'm going to document this and maybe sell it to somebody. Because a lot of times I do it for me. Um, because I like things to be efficient. I like things to be low maintenance. And I like things to be easy for me. So uh, I hope you didn't find the video too choppy because um, 
again, I didn't have plans for the laser lift bed. I had to remeasure and uh, remember what I did. And I wanted to put it in a very sequential order for you guys to um, build your own. Maybe build the same as what I have. Or you can expand on what I built and make it better for you. I hope that you post some comments, um, maybe improvements, or maybe even post comments when you build yours. I'd like to see uh, pictures of your uh, electric lift bed. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show a video of a demonstration of my lift bed. I'm going to put this on pause, and then I'll show you a video of how it goes up and down. Some of the templates I use and how I put my rotary tool in, lower it, let, raise it, and so forth. So anyway, I'm getting chatty. Uh, let me show you a demonstration of the laser bed. Okay, again, like I said, I'm not a professional video, um, professional video or video editing. So I'm just doing things on the fly here. So this is my electric uh, laser lift bed. The buttons are right here. It's right beside the lift bed uh, it's up and down button I have this this plugged in it's a, it's a USB charger um, but this is the button to control the up down for the, the lift bed so I'm gonna lower the bed That big thump is that it hits the bottom, so it bottoms out pretty hard. Um, it doesn't do any damage to the, the scissor lift, uh, but I, I rarely go all the way down because I don't laser a lot, a lot of items that are 12 inches tall. So this is raising it back up. And then I'm going to pause the video and show you the rotary tool. Okay, so um, I have a rotary tool jig that I created. I made measurements of the rotary tool and made a cutout. The rotary tool fits perfectly in the cutout that I uh, did in my jig. As you can see, I have magnets at the top and magnets on the side, left side there. Um, maybe it's probably a little overkill, but I use it to ensure that the jig doesn't move at all. Okay, so I put a tumbler uh, as an example in the jig or in the rotary tool. So I'm going to lower the laser bed. I'm sorry about that. This is not really plugged in. I don't want to plug it in. I'm just showing a demonstration. Okay, so I'll lower it down. And then I'll move my laser station. And I've seen in the video to recommend that you pull, pull it with, pull it on the gantry. Don't pull your station from the module. In other words, don't don't pull it up and down or on the y-axis. Don't do. I'll just demonstrate. Don't do this. Uh, I, I've seen recommendations that you grab the gantry and move it on its y-axis okay so now that I've lowered it you can see that sorry for the fingers there you can see that I have plenty of space I can lower even more then I can make my adjustments on the laser station here you know you put down the feet the kickstand like, like so to make your adjustments and then raise and lower it and then, well you guys know you, you if those of you that own the X tool you know how to do it I'm just showing a demonstration of how I can lower the bed and um, make plenty of room for my laser station to or for my laser to uh, have clearance on the tumbler so I can actually raise this a little bit more if I need to but anyway right that's the way I do it. Um, it was pretty quick for me to put my template in, my jig in, and then put the rotary tool, and then put the tumbler, I'm ready to go. So when I'm done, I can just remove everything. So I'll push this out of the way. Grab the gantry here and push it out of the way. And then I'll just remove 
the tumbler, set it aside. Sorry. Okay, and take my rotary tool out and put it away. Okay, and then take my template out. Then I can go back up to the very top and then start lasering again on flat pieces. So there you go. That's my laser lift bed, uh, electric laser lift bed. I really like it a lot. Again, like I said, it takes the hassle of uh, having to make clearance to do tall items and to use your rotary tool and so forth. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't mean to make it this long, uh, but I was very excited to share my ideas with you. Um, again, if you like this video, uh, please like or subscribe to my channel. Uh, I may make more videos in the future. Uh, if you request any, uh, I like to, again, um, make things easier. Um, I'm very creative at making things easier. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you all and I look forward to your comments.